All right, guys, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Do you know what? The more I look into the menu system of this game, the more utterly huge it feels. And there's a lot to learn. And I, I honestly, as I said, I think already, I haven't scratched the surface, and that is literally <laughs> so true. Um, you, I've wandered around a little bit looking at things, and I've, there's doors I can't open, there's puzzles to be found, there's, there's loads of, like... Hidden extras, details, touches everywhere. I think I'm just going to stick to the main quests right now, and that's exactly what we're doing. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. So we got a little house elf? Little Deke? Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. That was awkward. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Oh, she's still fishing for information. I can't tell her. I promised I wouldn't. Um, whether I should trust Fig or not. That might will be revealed later on. Would <laughs> turn out he turns out to be the the evil guy of the whole flipping story. The evil guy. The the villain, that's the word. <laughs> Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. So they're still, like, she's still trying to get info from me. She knows something happened, doesn't she? And she wants me to admit it. That's twice now she's tried, and twice I've denied. I wonder why she persists. Anyway, more work. Great, fine. Professor Ronan mentioned that. That's, yeah. That, Professor Ronan did. did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Um, what's the spellcraft? So there is an Ollivander's here. In fact, funnily enough, I did spot one on the minimap. There is an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. I didn't think that was in the, in the main story, but of course, we can't have the size of the Harry Potter game be the size of the entire UK, so it's understandable. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. Yes. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine oh, craftsman on. and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. So this Ollivander perhaps started his wand shop in Hogsmeade and then he, as he got better and more well-known and respected, he moved to, to London, to Diagon Alley. She, she didn't say that's another Ollivander's in Diagon Alley. Interesting, because don't forget, this is set 200 years before the Harry Potter stories that we know. So I think that's a really interesting touch. Uh, what is a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Looking forward to it. Okay. What more can you tell me about the potion shop? Do I really need to know more? But uh, can you tell me more about the anyway. potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Who's Professor Sharp? Anyway, we'll find out. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I've literally had one conversation with each of them. Uh, Sebastian or Natty. Let's talk with Natty. I liked her. She was nice. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. 
She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. God, Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. They, they, they almost portray this butterbeer as like some elixir of life, <laughs> some mead from the heavens. You know, milk and honey, whatever it is. Uh, speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of... Qu Honestly, we don't need to explain that. To an experienced gamer like myself, I know what a side quest is when I see one. How nice to see you, my young... Right. Professor Ronan. Ronan, here we come. I'm going to get some company ah, as well. There you good. are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I like this. This is a really extended tutorial. It, again, it emphasizes what I said at the beginning. This is a complicated, multi-layered game. And it's cool. What's the purpose of the time? Why must I, I first I complete get tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. That was a completely unnecessary point of conversation. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. And I apologize for leaving it in this episode. Professor Ronan's assignment, collect the flying page near the broken statue. Now, I have actually found one of these already. Uh, you see this this up here. Now, if you can't this is the right area. see it. I wonder where the flying page is. You, you just rip, rip, Ravello and it'll appear behind the, the walls. That can be useful. Um, but here we go. So all we have to do is no, Akio on that there. Oh, God, that's not Akio. Where's Akio? Akio. There you go. Got it. So, I've, I've collected like two of them as I was wandering around the, the, the castle. I Honestly, I spent like 20 minutes doing it. Honestly, it's not a huge thing you've missed out on if you're only watching this series. So now we've got to uh, collect the flying page in the defense against the dark arts tower. We got this way. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Wow, I love this. I love the way these, these buildings look. They're stunning. Rebellion. Right, where are you? There you are. I saw you. There it is. Okay, I'm done. Return to Professor Ronan. Well, that was literally a piece of cake. Well, not literally. Actually, that was a stupid thing to say. Ronan. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much. Time. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, I like this. They're mixing up the buttons that you've got to press. Here we go. Task mastered. Okay, now that is down at the bottom of my, uh, my, I don't know what you call that, the, the R2 at the bottom right of the screen. Mending charm repair can be used to mend broken objects in the environment. Got That's it. We it. saw Fig Very using good. this on that. If that. you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay, I understand. I think. Uh, broken statue in the alcove. Which broken statue are you talking about here? 
Oh, this one. Got it. Let's do it. Repairer. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Works like a charm. Uh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Revelio. Okay, and that's all there is to be done with that. I've got to get used to the camera controls. It's spun it's one of those games which has that spongy uh, camera where like you move the, the joystick a little bit and it moves it slowly, but then as soon as it's bitten, it over overcompensates. It's it's very like a lot of games these days where they give you something like a slow reaction and then and suddenly it's an exaggerated one. Right, what do I do now? Uh, visit Hogsmeade. Oh, that's it. So we're off to Hogsmeade. Oh, awesome. Hello. Looking oh, look me? at that. Look at over here. This is exactly what I'm talking Rebellion. about. You wander around here and there's all these things to do. And there you go. A field guide. Three Sister Bells. Guide pages. Three Sister Bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Argyleshire. It's rumoured that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands when they are rung in the castle. Locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Can't have been good for business. I wonder if that is something to be revealed at a later stage. We can't do anything else about them. Oh, and there's another page. Okay. Thank you. Seven out of eight. Oh, we got um, a challenge to get eight out of eight there, so we're very close. I have to read all those pages as well. Okay. Right, Natsy, let's go. Oh, there's another one. Huh. The set of armor belonged to Sir Skagglethorpe the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is brilliant. That is... Uh, I love the joke. I love the joke. Well, he clearly won the chair, but lost the game. In one way or another. Right. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Wow, the great outdoors. Oh, and that's the Quidditch pitch over there. Arena, whatever you want to call it. Wow, this is our first foray into the wilderness. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. So much to discover and explore. It's wonderful. It's like, it's almost like the scale of Elden Ring. Well, I don't know yet. We haven't seen how big the map can get, but you, you, oh, as far as I'm told, nice anything you can to see, fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms, you can travel to. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class. Believe me. <laughs> I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. So it's a fair old way. Revelio. Got to keep on revelioing everything, just in case the secret's hidden Hogsmeade around. Is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. If these are watering cans, they just <laughs> much for the cold, flip from you? pot to pot. Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. What are these? What are these? These everything significant. I feel like everything has meaning and significance. Those two grates on the on the on the the road there. Oh wait, over here. Okay, over I here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Stew them? That's a bit rough. Right, well, I'll do as you told me. Obviously, we need to collect ingredients as we go around. Perfect. What about you? Oh, look at these little trumpeting daffodils. <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this game. <clears throat> well, I already am. 
Okay. Next. Let's go. Oh, it's up there. God, we got quite a few things to discover along the way then. Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. Where what? I wonder if something startled them. I heard oh. rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Oh, how cool is that? I've, I've, but rumor has it we get to actually uh we get to actually ride those and other creatures. So I'm looking forward to that, including a broomstick. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. Lovely, that great inventive names, guys. On the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. Hang I on a minute. Hang on. Hang on a second. The Forbidden Forest to the left. What? What? What are you talking about? Is that? Is that this? That's Hogsmeade. That's where we're going. So it's, oh gosh, I'm being such an idiot. I got my bearings wrong. This will be the Forbidden Forest. Then. <laughs> I was thinking, what that tiny group of trees over there? Uh, yeah, all right. It extends quite a way back. What's that at the back though? Pit. No, what are you doing? Pit upon Ford, the southmost hamlet in the woodlands. Oh look at that! We've got a dragon coming. Well, that is that in real life. It only makes it more alluring. Like if I look up, will it have found the dragon? Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I guess not. Oh, god damn it. There I was thinking this game was was like really on edge where the map had live readings. <laughs> I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She look said at those. that. Oh, that's so good. We can, well, this is the same ca same coach we came in on. What are these creatures called again? Uh, well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Oh, I'll know it when Much I hear can it. Be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Okay. These these mushrooms are leaping, praying to be picked. Who am I to deny them their rights? I might as well collect these things because no doubt they're going to become useful. Uh, apart from that, that doesn't want to be picked. What about you? A signi Rebellion. any significance bench? No, just a lovely place to sit and view the be oh my god, the beautiful Hogwarts castle. It's just gorgeous this game. I still haven't quite got the the HDR and the color leave. balances right. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. Oh, what's that stuff? What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. Akio! beautiful here too. Oh, there you go. That's what that is. Me to what have I got? Like Some moonstone. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Okay, we picked up some moonstone. No idea what to do with it yet, but it's good to have some. I'm sure at some point I'll need all these kind of things. Crafting potions. Enhancing spells, who knows? I'm just going to spend Mister the whole day picking mushrooms on the way to Hogsmeade. That's, the, that's what this episode is all about. We're work. going for a mushroom picking sex session. Section? Hello, Mr. Moon. Probably Have should be sectioned after this. Pleasure. <clears throat> um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Mm. Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Right, so something with large oh, eyes. A hey, Demi, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Akio. Butterbeer has the walls, alcohol in it. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll sign. keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, we've got a great idea for a sign. Hogsmeade. And then, bit by bit, they've added <laughs> pieces to it. That's, that's what I like about the creativity of this world. Is that it, it just, it has its own personality. 
You know, if you, any other game would have just made that a simple signpost. But not this world, no. You can't do that in the wizarding world. It's got to look, it's got to look like higgledy-piggledy is probably the best, but like that chimney up there. It's got to look like it was done intentionally badly. Well, here we go. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Everything I need? Are you sure about that? I'm gonna hold you to that promise. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. I will. I will be exploring, guys. Uh, this is I what this soon. game's going to be about. Uh, certainly at the beginning is me just wandering around going, Ooh, what's that? Ooh, look at this. this you know. So bear with me. Look at this place. That's, I mean, it's... Hmm. It's kind of like the same comments I had about The Witcher 3 is, is that the places, the places around, the, the buildings, the structures, it's not like a grid format, uh, forced. Rebellion. It's, it really looks like it's natural, like it's been built up over time by people. All right, I'm going to grab this thing when I, when I get a moment. Here we go. Challenge unlock. Collect field guide pages in Hogsmeade. That's the first one in this town. Anyway, this is the shop. Pippin's Potions. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. I love this. I just love this. Oh, my God. Look at all this cool stuff. I can almost smell it in here. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, Let's get you those recipes, shall we? Damn right. Get a move on, mates. What can I do for you today? Oh, I see. So I've just, it clearly shows me which ones I've got to buy, but let's have a quick look down here. Lace wing flies temporarily unavailable. Well, I can help you out there, mate. I've got a stock in my back pocket. Right. Edurus potion recipe, or Edurus. Uh, for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Okay. Paid for and got. And this one is, uh, oh, the Wigan Weld Potion. I've got still got three of those on me. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Yeah, thanks very much, mate. So these uh, 1,200 1, galleons for the Focus Potion. You got anything on the cheap side, mate? No, definitely not. Thunder, thunder brew. <laughs> oh, I think I've had a few pints of that myself in my time. Okay. We have done potions 
What's in the chest? Do I get stuff? Oh, gold rimmed circular specs. Well, thanks very much Rebellion. for giving me free stuff, dude. Oh, hang on. Another field page guide. Pippin's Potions, established 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Paddy Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. As he said, it was his grandfather, I, I presume, who, who, who pioneered or founded this shop. Because it's called J. Pippins, he's called Parry. So, uh, yeah, anyway, small observation, probably not important. Neither was that. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can automatically sharpen axes here. <laughs> oh, please say we can use axes as weapons in fights. I'd love to... S I'd love to see that. You see this? You see, this is the problem now. I'm going... I'm going to be going on a... On a direction. This is what happened in Elden Ring and so many other games. I'll be going in a deliberate direction to do a certain deliberate thing. And I'll be like, ooh, what's that over there? Ooh, what's that over there? It's going to become... Incredibly annoying. Tombs and scrolls down here. Do I do that first or should I? I mean, we might as well pop into Ollivander's on along the way. This is going to be a tough one because I have to pick a wand. And I don't know whether I need to pick a, a wand of a certain type. Like, is it, is it, is there, are there different options and do they matter? The answer is probably yes. Merlin's. Blooming. This this uh, this guy was uh, played by was it John Hurt's in the movies? So I'd be very interested to see if it's still him. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Oh, of course, it's going to be a different Ollivander. I don't know how long Hello, he sir. might have lived for. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I. About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. Gerbold. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Only ten and a half inches. Feels rather small well, in my hands. Go hand. ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, Must be quite a risky job. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches. Ah, we're now we're talking. Now we're talking. Size matters. Let's give this one a try. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had Oh, just give me the elder wand and we'd be done with perplexing. it. Perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Oh, I see. Dark brown and ringed. Are they doing this on purpose? Seriously. Uh, no, it looks like I get to pick. Wood type, willow, dragon heart string in the middle. Uh, it's a whippy. It's, it's a flexibility is whippy. <laughs> one length. 13 and a half inches. So what I can do is change the styles. Oh, how cool. Well, what have we got then? Let's have a little Curious look around. Indeed. Crooked spiral. That looks just positively evil, doesn't it? Um, this looks more like 
I don't know. It's not quite the Elder Wand, but it's got a similar sort of design. Let's have a look at this white How one. How intriguing. Over here. A natural grey. That looks kind of cool. Very nice. Like the spiral design. And that's also good. We can change the colours, obviously. Glorious indeed. Notched. A notched warm brown. Classic grey. Poof. It's very hard to pick, isn't it? Oh, the de decisions and choices. How intriguing. I quite like the look of that. Can we change the colour of this? It's a dark brown stalk. Dark brown and ringed. Do you know what? The ringed one actually is probably the most pleasing in the, on the eye. The rest of them look so... I don't know, so uneven. Although I do like the look of this one. It almost looks like Norse. It's old. How intriguing. And it look... Oh, it looks better white. I think. We change the type of wood, the length, willow. Oh my God, there's so Goodness many. Indeed. Like, how would I know what is good? This is ridiculous. Can we can we change this at any time? Because I I I don't know enough about the game to. Oh, unicorn hair, dragon heartstring, or phoenix feather. Oh God. Uh. Uh. Sure. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. A hair of unicorn serves as the core of the wand known for producing consistent magic. Phoenix feather serves as the core capable of producing a great range of magic. I quite How like the idea intriguing. of powerful. So I, I do hope that we can change this because it, otherwise it's going to get a little bit silly. There must be like curious indeed reasonably supple supple swingy swishy flexible bendy god this is all this is all my favorite how intriguing it's all my favorite small talk uh rigid unbending slightly yielding unyielding <laughs> oh curious i say indeed. small talk this is more like um foreplay uh let's just buy what we got i don't really know what i'm doing so what do you think certainly i've never seen a one like that anyway not that color extraordinary <laughs> another wand another beginning of a bright and magical future <laughs> ah. now how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. There's so much to explore. I probably have to spend some time offline, not recording, I mean, to figure some of this stuff out. Right, Tombs and Scrolls or the Magic Nip. Nip, nip. Uh, oh, this is the magic neep. Oh, let's go up there then, because it's further away from the center of town. Oh, actually, no, let me let me backtrack. Tombs and scrolls it is. Okay, come on then. Tell me, tell me. What have you got An for me? Inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. 
I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Okay, this is really another one Let's of those episodes, isn't have, it? Shall it's we? tutorials, intro introductions, backstory, lore, it's, uh... Okay. I, I might stick this out on a day where I'm doing another episode of a different game as well, because it feels like it's not filler, but it's just... It's background until we get to the gameplay, I suppose. Unlocks uh, the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Yep, we'll have that. And small potion station. So we can conjure small potions perfectly suited to all of your potion brewing needs. So we what we can con we can if make build potions out in the field feel free then. To take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Okay, yeah. It it all sounds wonderful. Um refiner spellcraft. So these are basically like these are these are spells I can conjure sorry, I can conjure a station out of to craft other things. I think that's what it is. We'll figure it out. Thank you, Mr. Thomas Brown. Tom Brown. Tom Brown. Oh, yeah. I used to read those books. Tom Brown's School Days. Right now, we've only got one more place to go. The magic... Neep, neep. And I seem to remember it was up... You know uphill. Oh, what's in here? Oh, Zonkos. Okay, well, this would be like... The, oh, the, the, the twin brothers, you know, the Weasley brothers place. Look at all this. I love that you could just wander into a shop. It's self-wrapping presents as well. That's good. What do you do? Musical balloons. Oh. Huh. And they <laughs> when they burst, the confetti forms what looks like shapes of animals. That's kind. Of, that's, that's good. It's good. I like it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the wonderful horror. I'm going to have a nightmare about that later. Anyway, come on. There's too much to explore, but it's beautiful that it's all here. How could you not want to play this game? It's incredible. Well, I think we're pretty close to it. Probably a bit further up the hill. Oh, I actually to chosen the wrong path. Let me uh, let me stick a marker down, and we'll head over there. This is the potions place. Okay, and we got that. We found a book here, so there it is. The magical, the magic neep. Well, hello there. Hello there. How are you? What have you got out here? Purple potatoes, or are they beets? We'll see. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. <laughs> and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Gimme, gimme. Guess. You're after something fresh. I love all the names. This guy's name's Timothy, Timothy Teasdale. The, the, it's just something about them. They're so... They're so English. <laughs> British I should say. Right. Here we go. At least Can I don't have to around. pay for anything. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Okay, we've got Fluxweed. Not Grass. Well, that's everything. Mallow Sweet. Better go and find Natty. Oh, we can actually buy seeds. I can afford them, look, because I've actually got some cash on me. But I won't be buying any. I, I presume I can end up with some kind of base 
Revelio. Where I'll be able to uh, grow stuff. I don't know. We'll find out another time. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things, and it. Well, he's just said this. I don't think we needed a scroll to tell us that, but I'll take it. Oh, what was that? Six coins. So some people. I, I just stolen his profits, or is he just careless and invites people to take money off him? Oh, look at this! Look at the size of those. Blooming pumpkins, that's absolutely ridiculous. I suppose everything everything grown by magic. Bound to be a bit like that. Bound to be a bit like that, isn't it? <laughs> Rebellion. This is so much. We've got a graveyard. Ooh, ooh. You see, this is what I mean. There's a chest around the back. Let me see if I've got, if I've got the, the gump to open it. It's got an eyeball. How do I... How do I open you, sir? Not that way. Um, I don't think I can do this. I've got. I've, what have I got on me? I've got Lumos. Leviosa. Leviosa. That's never gonna work. <laughs> it's it's watching me with the evil eye. I can't curse it open. Um, I'm sure we'll, the game will tell us how to do that at some point. There's gonna be so much exploration. I'm sure somebody who's already figured it out or is playing will tell me, but try not to give me too many spoilers, you know. I know, thankfully, I don't have a big enough channel where that's going to be too much of a problem, but... Uh, I'll figure it out, if, if, if it's not obvious. <laughs> ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Ah, oh, is there something with two big eyes, perhaps? Just press my protection button or whatever. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We have to wear him down! Akio. That was totally the wrong spell. I'm just remembering how all of this works. Okay, that works. I, I, I did protect myself. I don't know. I was trying to beat him at his own game. <laughs> and let him do hey, don't don't take away from me. Ah, I got you. We were able to throw inanimate objects at him. That's working pretty well. I see. So actually, using the protector against him is really useless. We just gotta dodge. Very nice. Whoa. Look, he's muttering. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Okay, I'm just throwing barrels now. This is getting it's getting embarrassing for the poor guy. L1 and R1 to invoke ancient magic. What the hell is this? <gasps> oh. Everyone's gonna wonder what the hell is wrong with Goodness. me. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? 
We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Ah, I see. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. So, trollalol. So we've got to do a little bit of reparo. Well, good job I've just learned this thing. One down. One done. What about you? I presume I've just got to... Oh, okay. It says one out of seven. Two out of seven. We're finding them ourselves anyway. What's left? Oh, an entire building. Of course. God, it's like playing one of the Lego games. You know, <laughs> where you just put everything back together. Okay, that's three out of seven. What else have we got Repair. here? Okay, just a small stool. Uh, I mean, can you imagine, like, how much... How many jobs have been ruined by wizards in this universe? Like, no need for construction workers. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. <laughs> it's absolutely c crazy. Builders, they're all... There's no such thing as a builder in this world. Nobody needs them. Revelio. Another guide. Honeyduke's Sweet Shop. Variety of magical sweets. Fizzing whizbees and exploding bonbons. Customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling this shop's wares. Actually, um... My son the other day, he tried to get me to eat a, one of those jelly beans that, where, it's, where it comes from a random, like a lottery. And you don't know whether you're having like, I don't know, uh, strawberry or chili because the colours are the same. Rebellion. Well, he said, oh, Dad, try this one. It was dog poo. It was dog poo. Literally dog poo flavoured jelly bean. Uh, it, it didn't stay in my mouth for very long. This statue of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village, after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. It's amazing there's like a... a it's not, not racist, I suppose it is a racist slur. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh! Okay, so some of these things can be just looted from random baggage lying around. So there's one more thing I've got to repair around here and I can't, I can't see where it is. Repairer. Oh, it is that. Job done. Well, we, we've taken down a troll, people. I mean, how impressed could you get? We were just talking about you. Oh, uh, uh, who, me? Me, little me? All right, um, now what? No, do I talk to you? I can't seem to interact with you. Let me come around the back. Don't be alarmed. I won't do anything. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, good. Great. Yeah, that's fine. Um, or shall I be humble? No, 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 no. Please don't. No, thank you. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Thank give you, me. Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? I wonder if you get, like, I wonder if there's, like, a karma meter. Today. Take your time. Where you get, uh, like, if, if you choose the humble options, it gives, gives you some kind of credit or something. I don't know. Uh, traditional school robe. Huh. All right, then. It's done. We can preview the gear as well. You've received a new piece of gear. Time, time to equip it. Okay, gear screen. Here we come. Ooh, this is where it all is. Your current defense and offense are displayed at the top right. I've got none of either. At least I have my health. <laughs> Select the cloaks and robes, gear, slot, and press X. Where, where are you? I, I'm looking. I ain't seeing. Ah, oh, there you are. Um, And you're going to swap one traditional school robe for another. Oh, except it gives me an upgrade 
in offense. It looks exactly the same though. I guess what are the colors? Are these like epic and legendary? Extraordinary, legendary, I see. Interesting how you don't really need much money for this stuff. Oh, we can wear sort hats. A debonair ensemble. I like that. Okay, this is good. This is good. So we preview the gear. We get to see what it looks like on us. That looks dark. Incredibly dark. It's quite it's ebony in color, I understand. A diamond debonair. Oh, this is what goes under the cloak. Looks rather, rather fetching, I have to say. Uh, a wizard's hat. Mm, yeah, I can't see that. I can't see that happening, to be fair. Okay, well, we, I get the picture. Thank you very much. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Oh, I'm gonna have to... Shall we head to the They keep trying to ram this stuff down Sounds my like throat. Sounds a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I, I have to have a drink of the stuff, because if I, I don't, I think... They're just gonna keep on talking about it. You're most welcome to shop at your leisure. I'm just, just uh, lining my stomach. See, th there we go. There's another one. A chest which I can't interact with yet. There'll be a way. Oh, I know there will. And I'm coming for you, chest. Oh, there we are. I can have stuff out of that one at least. A mosaic robe. Oh, well, now that is interesting. So how do I look at this? This is what I mean about all these things in the menu. I've still got to get used to. So we can actually change the robe. For a mosaic robe. It's a fence is six, so it actually upgrades what I've already got. Do we have a look? Oh, I don't know about that. Looks like pajamas. Still, it's better than what I'm what I've I've already got, so we might as well keep it. I might not be able to wear it on school grounds, but it does look like it's a little cooler than the than, than the traditional school wear. Are you going to notice my new, uh, my new threads here? Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Hey, Serona. Oh, there he is again. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Oh, he knows you know. You know he knows you know us? as well. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? No, you, you well were done. there. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. 
Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. Yes, who can you confide I think that in, now Sammy? Might be a good time to head back to the castle. I, I agree with you, but uh, do you know what? I'm just going to sit down, drink my butter beer, and relax before I press forward. Thank you guys for watching this one. It got intriguing there at the end. I have to leave it on a cliffhanger, but um, I love this. Absolutely love this. A lot of exploration done and some things learned, but we've got a long way to go before it becomes a familiar game. Or a familiar mechanics, I suppose. Rebellion. And I will grab that, thank you very much. The Three Broomsticks. Long-standing gathering spot for villagers in Hogwarts. Who frequent... But a bit of fire whiskey. They've got fire whiskey? Nobody said that. Oh, I should have asked for something stronger. All the very best, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Take care, and good night.